In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create colorful 12 options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first option comes, you can add the title, the option number and some detailed text. And when I click with the different color combination, it will come the option 2, 3, 4, you can see here 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11, 12. So you can see here this is how the slide looks once the animation is over and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link i have used office 2019 version to do this if you're using older version like 2007 or 2010 some features may not be available so i highly recommend you to use the latest version of powerpoint so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes from the basic shapes. I'm going to choose the oval shape, draw a big oval shape, maybe this much size, shape outline, make it no outline and align center, align middle. Then I'm going to cut this into half for that. Let me just go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle covering the bottom part of the oval shape then select the oval shape first hold the shift key and select the rectangle under shape format merge shape say subtract we end up getting a shape something like this the next thing i'm going to cut this into 12 equal parts for that go to insert shapes from the stars and banners i'm going to choose the 24 point star draw the 24 point star okay and give some different color and you can just you can see the small orange point just drag this down all right maybe like this again align center align middle all right so this is a, a guiding point for us where i'm just going to draw some rectangles on top of this shape so let me just select all the shapes come by pressing ctrl a pull it down using the help of the the down arrow key from your keyboard okay then i'm going to draw some lines here so how to draw that lines go to insert shapes from the rectangle select the rectangle draw the rectangle and give some different color combination shape outline make it no outline and the width i'm going to make it 0.0, .0 five could be okay something like this then rotate it and place it here you can see here something like this let me just zoom it and i'm just going to play it exactly on top of this you can see here it's the time consuming but uh, once it's done the result will be fantastic so you can see here that's the first one now press ctrl d to duplicate bring it to the other side again rotate it put it here and make sure that your the line should cross the the oval shape the half circle okay otherwise when you're doing the fragmentation it will have a problems and again we need to redo it so avoid doing that one please so now let me just again rotate it properly so that i can get the perfect yes and then press ctrl d we'll do it for the third one i think this is okay ctrl d this is for the fourth one all right so we need to just align it properly i think this is okay ctrl d this is for the fifth one Still, I think I need to just bend a little bit. Yeah. Press Ctrl D and rotate it. This is a straight, straight. We don't need to do anything here. This is very straightforward. Press Ctrl D and again rotate it. Rotate a little bit. Again, Ctrl D. So you can see here, press Ctrl D again, so like this we need to continue for the rest of the options.
all right so you can see here we end up getting a shape something like this now what i'm going to do is uh it might go sometimes wrong so i highly recommend you to make a duplicate copy of this one you know so uh, it's better to be at a safer side so let me just select this 24 stars and delete it all right then i'm going to select uh, press ctrl a to select all the objects then go to the shape format merge shape and say fragment all right so we end up getting something like this the bottom part i'm just selecting and deleting okay then delete this one also you can see here select and delete press the hit the delete key all right now let me just zoom in you can see this is the colors here the small outlines select then delete you can see here like this one by one this also one more is here this one more here you can see here sorry control z and delete and two more left no let me just zoom in and select this yes so you can see here i got a design something like this all right now if you want to cut this one again at the bottom also you can do that also let me just hold the shift key again put it exactly in the center all right and again if i want i can just select all of these shapes merge shape again i can fragment it and then i can just delete the bottom part so i end up getting a shape something like this all right so let me just select all press ctrl g to group it and depending on your requirement hold the shift key and increase the size so i'm just keeping it something like this here so you can see here our design is uh, ready the basic design then the next thing is we need to start uh adding the colors to it so first of all shape outline make it no outline right mouse click and ungroup this one okay so before adding the colors what you can do is you can add the oval shape here go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key and shape outline make it no outline shape fill maybe you can give some different color and put it here like this one by one we need to put it on top of each option here control D to duplicate here you can see here there are some sizes are not equal because maybe at the time when we are doing that part I have not put at the right uh, place the the rectangle lines so that's the reason you can see the difference but anyway that cannot be that's not a problem so just align it properly one by one you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate and yeah that's it so you can see here now let's put some colors so right mouse click go to format background and select this one there are two options either you can make it a gradient fill or you can use any a, a single color so let me just put some single color here and here you can just choose any color of your choice i'm just randomly i'm picking some colors here you can see here i'm just randomly picking some colors so it's better if you give a, a gradient color here it will look very nice all right so you can see here one by one i'm just selecting and giving some different color combinations So let me just give maybe this color as well, this one, or if you give some kind of uh, color which is uh, having a good flow, that will be very nice. Okay, right. So this is done. And then the same color. First of all, I'm just selecting the oval shapes by holding the shift key and click on that one and then you can give some shadows here all right if you want to give the shadow for this one 
instead of like this we can give to the bottom left also all right so then i'm going to give the same color combination here using this one can you see here just use the eyedropper and give the same color here only thing is you can see there's a shadow otherwise or you can use some light color also so likewise just uh, we'll do it quickly one by one sorry let me just do it or at the time of at the time of adding the colors we could have added at the same time to avoid the to save the time but anyway no problems yeah it's done so let me just remove this uh, guides here all right so you can see here uh, i did something like this but as I said, if you have some color theme where you can add some different color combinations, you can get some good color themes from the internet and apply it here. So that will be the good option. So once this is done, or what you can do is you can just select this one, you can follow like this. You can see here from lighter to darker like that, that also can be done. Okay, so once this is done, go to insert text box. I'm going to type 01 all right make it bold increase the size put it here and make this font as white color font so it will be visible press ctrl d to duplicate ctrl d so you can just duplicate like this you can see here Put it on top of each circle all right so this is one this is two three you can just change all these numbers and then go to insert text box you can say your title here all right again make it white bring it here and rotate it you can see here something like this press ctrl d to duplicate again rotate it okay so you just need to do one by one like this so let me just quickly do this part and then once you finish this you can give a background color of this okay you can just go to the slide and you can just choose any background maybe i can give some dark background so it looks something like this again if you want more darker background you can give some black also so whichever way you feel you can just give that particular color combination so you can see here i have put all these numbers and the title here and again if you are not happy with the color combination you can see here i have just downloaded these color schemes all right so with the help of the eyedropper we can change it you can see here this uh, looks very nice color combination so i can just simply select this one go here colors eyedropper i'm starting with this one all right and again here also i'm going to give the same color combination okay and then if you want you can make it more lighter or darker okay you can see here then the second one i'm going to select the eyedropper and click on the second one so like this you can see the shade how the shade is changing so again the third one it is some different color combination and the fourth one it's like this fifth one it's more darker and here also it is more darker you can see here all right so once this is done i can just from this point onwards i can give some uh, different color combinations again maybe i can start with maybe a, a blue one or this color also red color whatever example maybe i can give this red color combination the pink color you can see here So with the help of eyedropper i'm just changing the colors accordingly and
and the last one we can see here how it got changed let me just reduce it so you can see now the difference before and after so this way you can just change and again change the color combinations for this as well and at the top you can add some titles here the way i added here i can just simply copy bring it here and i can paste it one by one you can see here like this i can just copy and paste it all right so for the reference purpose i'm just keeping this one here so you can just use it uh, any other color combination of your choice and if you like to do some basic animation you can do the basic animation to it